Good day, my name is Sydney Devlin. I'm project manager with Critical Path Institute. On behalf of CPATH, National Organization for Rare Disorders, and the FDA, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Rare Disease Cures Accelerator Data and Analytics Platform, also known as RDCA DAP 2021 Virtual Workshop. Before we get started today, we have a few announcements. This workshop is being recorded. As you logged on, you might have noticed several interactive features. We invite you to navigate through to learn more about our speakers and see additional materials under the handouts tab, including today's agenda and other informative documents. We also have a tab sharing the logos of those organizations that have contributed data to RDC ADAPT thus far. Without their confidence in the platform, and strong belief in data sharing, we would not be where we are today. So we really thank you. As you will see on the agenda, today's workshop includes question and answer sessions after most presentations. There is a Q&A box on the left side of your screen, and that is where you will submit your questions. And we will work hard to address every question we can during this workshop. If you would like to speak to someone about contributing data to RDCA DAP, please email RDCA DAP at cpath.org. There will be a survey at the end of the workshop today and your responses and feedback are really appreciated. In the unlikely event that there is some sort of platform outage, you will immediately receive an email directing you to a new platform so we can continue on with the workshop. I will now turn it over to our Senior Vice President for CPATH, Senior Advisor for Quantitative Medicine, leader of the RDCA DAP initiative and my boss, Dr. Jeff Barrett. Jeff? Thank you, Sydney. Again, welcome to everyone who's signed on for our annual meeting today. I do want to remind you that it is not only our annual meeting, it's also the official launch of the Rare Disease Cures Accelerator Data Analytics Platform. So I'll be discussing this in the next few slides, but uh, the platform is open and ready for business. So I invite all of you to uh, take the time. We'll show you how to get connected and then please use the system and give us feedback. I think, uh, again, what I hope you all appreciate is that this platform is intended to serve the entire rare disease ecosystem. Specifically, that means first and foremost, patients, healthcare providers, and, and the caregivers of patients, researchers, biopharmaceutical companies, regulatory reviewers and scientists around the world, and academic scientists engaged in, in rare disease research. In terms of how it accomplishes this, a big heavy lift for the platform itself is, is not just receiving the data, but curating the data, making it ready for analysis. So a lot of effort in assembling relevant data in rare diseases and converting it in a useful manner to actually facilitate rare disease drug development. That is in fact the big picture here. Our ultimate success as the platform is the ability to help sponsors generate high quality submissions and ultimately cures for rare disease patients. As I mentioned, we are in fact open for business today. What that means is that you can get access to the system. You can see what data we've already accumulated to date. You can already get started on some data analysis yourself. That practically means that the platform has some functionality built into this. This will continue to evolve as we secure additional partners and we further develop uh, the functionality with our platform developer. You will hear from the platform developer today in terms of their current efforts and future efforts on our behalf. We encourage you all to, uh, again, get access and to start collaborating. What you will also see at this meeting today is a key example in the Friedrich Taxia space where we've gotten together researchers of different uh, settings and brought them together using the platform to, in fact, engage in key questions around the development of uh, the science in that space. So we'll show you a very candid look behind the curtain on how the platform is used to accomplish this. And one of the other things is that you can uh, also, we are able to receive new data. So don't think of this as a, a static place at all. This is a, a very dynamic environment and we're counting on the entire rare disease ecosystem to continue to contribute to this and other data stores that will help us advance cures for rare disease patients. A lot has been done to date. Again, it's, it's a very short timeline. The inception of the RDC DAP effort really only began in July 2019 through the, the vision and commitment of the Food and Drug Administration. 
it's it's only with uh, the commitment from the FDA where we're able to get uh, the resources to uh, to build the platform, but also to secure the collaboration of the partners in this space. So I, I think uh, we've got a strong allies, not just from the FDA, but from our partners in this, the National Organization for Rare Diseases. They're committed collaborators with us. A lot of the outreach efforts that have uh, begun have been on on the benefit of the relationships that NORD has. We've continued to work on them ourselves at CPATH, but this is clearly a collaboration that is already bearing fruit. A lot of the data we've accumulated to date is in a variety of rare diseases. So it's again, a work in progress, but we've made good efforts so far. You see there in 20, early 2020, some of the data that's already been received. Uh, NORD has made a, a historical commitment to build the IMRare database. We have worked to uh, find a mechanism to populate the RDC DAP platform with data that has, NORD has collected historically and uh, streamline the process so that this happens in a very efficient manner. Memorandum of understandings have been uh, put in place with several other data providers, such as RareX, uh, such as Vivli, such as Pulse InfoFrames, Allstripes, Citizen, each of these rare disease platforms and communities have recognized the need to collaborate and have come together. We have come together as a community to help build something special here and breaking down the barriers. We're going to have a talk later today about silos and I want to ensure you now, and you'll hear more candidly about this in the future, that this is not going to be the case here. We're working hard to make sure that no barriers to sharing data are put in place from any one of these platforms. This is an entire um, effort that the community recognizes has to move forward in a very collaborative manner. What you saw in 2021 was expen extensive beta testing by a diverse group of stakeholders. We completed this early in the springtime. You're going to hear from the beta test community today on their initial feedback from using the platform. Recognize that this continues to be a work in progress. This platform is really good right now. It will continue to improve and evolve with time. We expect to add a lot of significant functionality over the short term and long term by building this platform. Several partnerships with groups such as Clinaria and Quinton Health and NYU have already been put in place with the expectation of expanding the functionality even further. So great progress to date, but that we're clearly not done. And there's a lot of enthusiasm for seeing this platform be all it can be for patients. It is not just about the data for sure. Uh, I hope you feel that today's launch should sound like the Jack and Jill theme song as the ice cream chuck pulls up in your neighborhood. This is a place to start and to come out into the street and work together in a highly collaborative way. Discussions in the pre-competitive space have already happened because of the platform. And we expect this to be a place that promotes candid dialogue around such detailed questions such as the selection of appropriate endpoints, better and improved patient selection and trial design, and hopefully the co-development of tools that further de-risk decision-making for rare disease drug development. And I will tell you that you're going to see evidence of this even fact today at this meeting. So we've clearly made a good start and uh, I think you'll be convinced of that as you listen to the, uh, the material today. Again, keep in mind, this is just really day one. We're expecting to get even better as time goes on. Now, a logical question would be, well, how do I get access to this? How do I get started? We have resources available for you now. There is a uh, splash page. I provided the URL for you on this slide. So please go up, take a look. There's a lot of content up there already. This will continue to be populated over time. We're committed to providing lots of resources to make sure that no one struggles here. There is point of contacts provided with our data collaboration center and with um, with NORD resources, as well as the uh, the platform developer themselves. So we will make sure that any question you may have gets answered. And certainly, if you are in a position to share data, please contact us immediately and we will walk you through the process.